Good morning. Today on Customer States What? Customer States, when at idle and one driving, I sometimes have a rattle. It comes and goes. And uh, today it's happening, but when I got here, it wasn't happening. And while you're there, before multi-point inspection, say no more. We're looking around the vehicle, brake fluid is uh, pretty clean. Battery's dirty. Oh, looks like we got some poo-poos. Some tiny poo-poos. We got a little itty bitty field mouse in here. Let's see, we, we got we got Mr. Lemon Winks here. Let's see. Oh god, yes we do. Freaking Lemon Winks has entered the chat, ladies and gentlemen. And he looks comfortable. And not for nothing, this customer is not here for a nest removal or anything of that. Unfortunately. So I'll recommend the usual uh, suspect repairs, but I don't think that they're going to go for it, guys. And uh, I just noticed this. They got the double grill action. They got the regular one that's crazy dirty underneath it, but then they got the chromey. All right, you know what's coming up. Let's take it up top. So now that we took it up top, we're going to look around and uh, we're going to find nothing but flavor, guys. At least the backing plates are still there. This one, yep, it's still there. But it's looking like they got a case of the flavor. So the rattle, we got two rattles, guys. We got one right here. These things break apart and it causes, you hear that? causes this heat shield to rattle so what we're gonna use to fix that I'll show you in a little sec but here's another band that's all messed up the second rattle is all the way back here it's this guy right here what happens is as you can see the mounting points they rot out and it causes a little flappy heat shield well, it looks like the rear diff is starting to get petrified. As with that yoke, you don't want a bad yoke, and you don't want yoke on the face either. Going back here, yep, we got flavor here too. Flavor there, flavor everywhere. All right, guys, let's get to the repair. I'm going to show you how to repair this on the cheap, but properly. All right. All right, guys, here's the heat shield repair on the cheap. And you know what? It's going to hold for a while. All you do, you get some really good hose clamps. You put it around the shield. Make sure you're around the whole thing. Put one there. And put another one over here. Come on, get in there, get in your home. Position it as needed and send it home. And we're going to put one right here as well. Alright, so after me and the hose clamp had a conversation, it's acting, it's acting right now. Come on, let's tighten it up. Now let's give it a Fonzarelli to see if it worked. Worked here, but as you can still hear, the rear needs a fixing. Yeah, so let's go to the rear. Oh, right. All right, so what we did here is we undid a couple of uh, exhaust hangers and we are supporting the exhaust with a screw jack just so we could lower the exhaust just enough to where we could gain good access to this here heat shield. So now that we have access, we're gonna undo that 10 millimeter, take the old shield down, Hopefully these three 10 millimeters will not break and we'll be able to install the new one. So let's get into that repair. Spray a little PB blaster up in there, a little jism, you know what I mean guys? 
Hopefully these uh, this hardware will not break in the body. I pray they don't. All right, we'll let that, uh, let's get a little more in there. We'll let that sit a little bit and then we'll break them free. All right, let's see, will it break free or will it just break? Good, 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 good. As you can see, the, the tabs that, that those threads are on, they're weak. There's one. Well, I gotta go through the AC lines here. Let's see, please don't break. Please don't break. I gotta get a swivel on it. All right, I'll be right back. Will this one work? A little crooked. Let's, let's try. Is it breaking free or is it just breaking? Oh, I think I got lucky. Oh, oh, I thought that broke right there. All right, hold on. All right, I think that's that's coming out. Very good, all right. Let's see. I should just go for it. No. Nope. All right. I'm gonna have to try something different here. All right, guys, YOLO. <laughs> oh, we just needed a little gugats on it. And we got it out. Now we just gotta bend that back and we'll be able to get that shield in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go back to your home. Go back to your home. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll probably work with that. That's not bad. Let's get the new parts. But you know what? On those new bolts, we're going to put a little bit of high temp anti seeds. What do you say? You now, guys, when I say high temp anti seeds, I mean the Loctite copper NICs, or any other brand, but Loctite is a pretty good brand. They've been around for a long time. There's a little dab up in there, make sure it gets in the threads and on the mounting area. There we go. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And three looks like it's gonna suck to get to. All right, number three. Let's see. Come on, number three work around this AC line. Come on, get in there. Maybe I should have started with this. Oh, there it goes. All right, very good. Let's mount those up. Not too tight. That's what he said. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, very good. You don't want to do those guys too tight, guys, because you don't want to bend the mounting brackets and you don't want to stress the metal any more than it already is. All right, let's get the, let's get that exhaust up. Put a little dab of grease. Exhaust hanger just to 
aid installation. The exhaust hangers are rubber. The exhaust is rusted metal. So any lubrication that you can provide will aid in the installation very much so. Number two, I order you to take a number two. That's three. That's four. All right, so now that we got our exhaust fixed, let's give it the old Arthur Fonzarelli no rattle no rattle no rattle no rattle very good guys and that's how you repair some exhaust rattles in a uh, Toyota Highlander very good if you don't know what to do by now guys please like subscribe hit that bell notification for further content